This week for Feed My Pet Friday, we'll be watching my bull snake, Janet, take down a rat. Now, Janet is in fact a boy. We thought he was a girl at first, which is why we named him Janet, but he doesn't seem to mind his feminine name. I'll be talking more in depth about his rescue story, which is kind of sad, but at least he's healthy now. I'll be going more in depth in another video coming up, so I won't talk about that here, but rather we'll be talking about how snakes can eat such a large prey item in a single bite. He's got a good grip of it now, and he was first smelling around to figure out which end of the rat was the head end. Now, snakes will, for the most part, eat their food head first because it's a lot easier to eat a prey item in that direction. If he ate the rat tail first, then the rat's back feet and its tail would all get in the way and he'd have to like bend them in the opposite direction than what they're sitting in order to eat it. This way, he can simply push back those front legs as he's doing right now and it'll go down a lot easier. And yes, this is a male rat, so get over it. In case you don't already know, snakes have teeth that curve backwards. Their teeth are fang-like in shape, even though they're not all fangs, they're just teeth. And this shape helps them get a better grasp on their prey. Without feet or legs to hold on to their prey, the teeth help hold it in place and prevent the animal from leaving their mouth after it has entered. You may be wondering how snakes can breathe while they're eating their food. And not only do they use their nostrils, which if you look closely, you can see two little nostrils at the end of his nose there. They don't use their nose for smelling, of course, since they use their tongue, but the nostrils are used for inhaling and exhaling, especially while they eat. They also have a very unique structure called a glottis, which is at the back of their mouth, kind of near the base of their tongue. And this is uh, an organ that leads straight to their trachea or their windpipe. And it's just a small opening that they can use to inhale and exhale from and they can move it to the side if a large prey item is kind of in its way. In just a couple seconds, you'll be able to hear him exhaling, and you can hear the air coming out through the glottis. There you go, some bubbles because the rat is wet, but that's normal, that's just him breathing, and now he'll continue with his rat. There's a little bit of blood on the back foot. I think this is where he grabbed it when he initially struck it and wrapped it. This was a frozen thawed rat originally, because I prefer feeding frozen thawed over live. Now he'll push that rat about halfway down his body where it will sit for the next few days while he digests it. And bull snakes have a rather quick metabolism, so it really will only take three or four days before he goes to the bathroom, but I won't feed him for another full week or so. And there you have it, short and sweet. Feel free to vote again this week for next week's Feed My Pet Friday video. Just click on the I in the top right corner and let me know which animal of mine you would like to see eat next.